if the, Don't if use, the, use my it's words. It's the witness's sir. time. Do not censor the witness. I'm if not the, censoring the witness. She is trying to censor the witness. And if you want to cut him off and censor him some more, you're welcome to do it. Oh, that's not my job. That's, that's your job. If it's not your job, then why are you literally censoring him right now? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I'd like to yield my time to Representative Massey. I thank the gentleman from North Dakota. Wow, the irony and cognitive dissonance from the other side of the aisle, it's deafening. You could cut it with a knife. They are at the same time denying that censorship is occurring, but suggesting that there's more material that needs to be censored. This is a hearing on censorship that began with an effort with a formal motion from the other side of the aisle to censor Mr. Kennedy. They do not want him to speak, yet that is the topic of this hearing. They have kept him from speaking. A collusion between the government and private organizations. Mr. Kennedy, in your opening statement, you um, introduced us to this word malinformation. Can you tell us more about this made up word, what it means, and some of the uh, things that you've tr said or tried to say that you've been censored for that's been characterized as malinformation. Yes, Congressman Assey, and if, if, it, if by your leave, I'd like to just respond Please. very briefly uh, to some of the, uh, what I would call, defamations that have been uh, just applied to me by the ranking member. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you about my opinions on these issues, what you, the, what you have stated and tried to associate me with uh, through guilt by association is simply inaccurate. Virtually everything, every statement that you just made about me is inaccurate. I have never advised black Americans not to receive vaccines. At one point you say I'm anti-vax and that's a bad thing. The other thing, the <laughs> other moment you point out that all my children are vax. I vac I'm fully compliant with the vaccine schedule myself, except for COVID. I, I, I took flu vaccines for 20 years straight. I have never been an anti-vax. I have never told any, I have never told the public avoid vaccination. The only thing I've asked for and my views are constantly misrepresented so that the truth of what I believe is not, we're not allowed to have a conversation with, about that with the American people, which I believe vaccines should be tested with the same rigor as other medicines and medications. You tried to associate me a moment ago with a the replacement theory which is racist. No, I did not say you time had belongs the to the gentleman from I said I did not, my colleagues. The time did. belongs to the gentleman from I denounced that theory. It is racist, and I have never endorsed it or had any association with it. Our film on a medical part. By the medical way, apart One thing I like about Robert F. Kennedy in this video is that he's first addressing every claim that they made against him and denouncing them straight up. And the reason why I like that so much is because he's not dancing around the allegations they made. He's so confident in himself by saying, what they're saying about me is false. It's not true. And I'm going to stand here or sit here and say, this is not true. And if you really think it's true, you're going to have to prove it. And one thing he brought up was a vaccine. He said, how are you going to say I'm anti-vax when all my children are vaccinated? It's a pretty good point. Yeah, he's bringing up racism. So I'm excited to see where this video will go. Please make sure you like and subscribe and let's get into it. Buxton, Bill Buxton, who is the black CDC official who ultimately exposed the Tuskegee experiment, tried for years and years to appeal to, to CDC to stop it for 40 years. Finally, he got relief by walking into my uncle's office in the building next door Teddy he held hearings and ended the experiment. I remember that very well. And to say that, that I, I wrote a, I created a film that encourages blacks not to get adequate medical care is just completely abhorrent. If the, Don't if the, use my it's words, the witness's sir. time. Do not the, censor the witness. I'm not the, censoring the, the witness. The, yeah. I'm not. She is trying to censor the witness. Didn't the whole video open up about censoring in general? How one side is saying that we aren't censoring at all, but then also saying that we need to do more censoring. 
No, and then you're trying to actively censor him right now in real life, in person. This is insane. Censoring the witness, he's still if talking. It is the, it's I it's my the time and I've given it to the witness. Do not censor him. I'm if not the, censoring him. If the views that you and others have applied to me, I've attributed to me, if they were actually true, I can see why I shouldn't be able to testify here today. Those are not true. These are defamations and mal malignancies that are used to censor me to prevent people from listening to the actual things that I'm saying. And I think, ranking member, that we should have a real conversation rather than an exchange of ad hominem attacks. And answer very quickly to your question, the term malinformation was coined to describe information that Facebook and Twitter and the other social media sites understood was true, but that the White House and other federal agencies wanted censored anyway for political reasons because it challenged official orthodoxies. I'll give you one example. There was a, I was included in a group called the Disinformation Dozen. Mm -hmm. and. And Facebook and others were asked to censor us, which they did. And by the way, my heck, Aaron post, it was taken down. My whole Instagram account with 900,000 people was taken down because of that. Oh, they knew, Facebook knew that the disinformation doesn't claim it. And what they said, was the disinformation doesn't came from this very shady group called the Center for Preventing Digital Hate in England that is funded by dark money that should be looked into. They claim that 65% of the vaccine misinformation on the internet was generated by those 12 people. Facebook itself said that is impossible. That is false information. We know that not to be true. And yet, when the White House asked them to censor this disinformation doesn't, including me, they did it anyway, when they knew it to be untrue. Uh, he's gonna go a little longer. Excuse me, point of order. I know that witnesses usually have five minutes. I see 10 minutes on the board. Is it going to be 10 minutes? We'll for give him five witness? minutes, but we're, we're pretty lax with this. Uh, we'll let him go for we a are? little. Yeah. We've, I've seen you ham, 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 gavel down on quite a number of witnesses. We've given senators and former Democrat members of Congress and all kinds He's of folks. Neither. Time. He's yeah. neither. He's neither. I'm just saying in past history. Okay. In okay. But we'll, Let's we'll give, just we'll watch give you the time for all the witnesses. And then. if you want to cut him off and censor him some more, you're welcome to do it. Oh, that's not my job. That's that's your job. Why not? If it's not your job, then why are you literally censoring him right now? Like this whole thing started with censoring and you're still censoring. Like it's like you can't help it. It's like you just embedded it to yourself. You literally cannot help but censor. It's insane. And you're disrespecting him on the I mean in this conference right now. It's 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 insane. Why don't you threaten a witness so that they can Mr. not want to be Mr. a witness? Kennedy is recognized for his opening statement. We'll give him five minutes, more or less, and then we'll move to the next one. Mr. Kennedy, go right ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, maybe and we could put five minutes on the clock then, not ten. Could we, could we put five on the clock and start it running? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I want to, I want to start. I want to put aside my written statement for a moment and address one of the uh, points that was brought up. I think an important point by the ranking member that this body ought to be concerning itself with the uh, with issues that impact directly the American people. The rising price of groceries, 76 percent over the past two years for basic food stuff, uh, the war in Ukraine, the inflation issues, the border issues, many, many other issues that concern us all as a nation. We can't do that without the First Amendment, without debate. Uh, when I gave my speech, my announcement speech in Boston uh, two months ago, YouTube, I, I talked about all those issues. I focused on grocery. You know, I focused on the fact that working class people can no longer afford to live in this country. I talked about inflation, all the issues that deeply concern you and that you've devoted your career to alleviating those issues. Five minutes into my speech, when I was talking about Paul Revere, YouTube deplatformed me. 
I didn't talk about vaccines in that speech. I didn't talk about anything that be, could be was a verboten subject. I just was talking about my campaign and things, the conversation that we ought to be having with each other as Americans. But I was shut down. And that is why the First Amendment is important. Debate, congenial, respectful debate, is the, is the fertilizer, it's the water, it's the sunlight for our democracy. We need to be talking to each other. Now, there, this is a letter that many of you signed, many of my fellow Democrats. I've spent my life in this party. I've devoted my life to the values of this party. This is 102 people signed this. This itself is evidence of the problem that this hearing was convened to address. This is an attempt to censor a censorship hearing. How do you censor a censorship hearing? Isn't that? Think about that. You're censoring a hearing about censorship. And if you guys think he's lying, just watch this video. They tried to literally censor him while he was actually speaking. They're like, OK, that's enough. When is his time to speak? They say, OK, put a timer on the clock. We can't let him speak over the timer. Literally trying to physically censor him because they can't do it any other way at a hearing about censorship and then they're trying to say oh censorship doesn't happen but then you have a list of things that you want to censor he's bringing up real examples of things that are being censored you are literally censoring him in the video so what do you mean censoring is not happening we can see it and we live it this is crazy the the, the charges in this and and by the way censorship is antithetical to our party it was and it was appalling to my father my uncle, to FDR, to Harry Truman, to jo Thomas Jefferson, as the chairman referred to, it is the basis for democracy. It sets us apart from all of the previous forms of government. We need to be able to talk, and, and the First Amendment was not written for easy speech. It was written for the speech that nobody likes you for. And I was, I was censored not just by the Democratic administration, I was censored by the Trump administration. I was the first person censored by, the, as the chairman pointed out, by the Biden administration two days after it came into office. It ordered a truthful, and by the way, they had to invent a new word called malinformation to, to, to censor people like me. They, there was no misinformation on my Instagram account. Everything I put on that account was cited and sourced to peer-reviewed publications or government databases. Nobody has ever pointed to a single piece of misinformation that I publish. I was removed for something they called malinformation. Malinformation is information that is true, but is inconvenient to the government that they don't want people to hear. And, it, and that's antithetical to the values of our country. After I announced my presidency, it became more difficult for people to censor me outright. So now I'm subject to this new form of censorship, which is called targeted propaganda. They create a new term for censorship. That's insane. Mild information is targeted propaganda. They're just creating new terms to make censoring someone easier. That is that is insane. I, I don't even know what to say about that. Where people apply pejoratives like anti-vax, I've never been anti-vaccine, but everybody in this room probably believes that I have been, because that's the prevailing narrative. Anti-Semitism, racism, these are, are the most appalling, disgusting pejoratives, and they're applied to me to silence me, because people don't want me to have that conversation about the war, about groceries, about inflation, about the war on the middle class in this country that we need to be having. And, and by the way, I want to say this while I'm on the record, that in my entire life, and why I'm under oath, in my entire life, I have never uttered a phrase that was either racist or anti-Semitic. I have spent my life fighting my professional career fighting for Israel, for the protection of Israel. I have a better record on Israel than anybody in this chamber today. I'm the only person 
was publicly objected to the $2 billion payout that the Biden administration is now making to Iran, which is a, is a, a genocidal program. I'm the only one who's objected to that. I fought more ferociously for Israel than anybody. But I am being censored here through this target, through, uh, through, through smears, through misinterpretations of what I've said, through lies, through association, which is a tactic that we all thought we had been discredited and dispensed with after the Army McCarthy hearings in the 1950s. But those same weapons are now being deployed against me to silence me. I know many of the people who wrote this letter. I don't believe there's a single person who signed this letter who believes I'm anti-Semitic. And it's sad because he's getting attacked. And to me, this sounds like a very reasonable man. He sounds like a very reasonable man who stands up for something. And they're throwing all these things at him, trying to censor him actively, trying to throw him under the bus and paint him as a villain. Here I am before I started this video, because I don't know anything about Robert F. Kennedy. Before I started this video, I thought Robert F. Kennedy was a Republican or a super right wing guy. The whole time, he's on the Democratic side running for president. I didn't even know why I thought that. I thought it because that's the image people paint of him. He is a left wing or I don't know if he's left wing. He's a Democratic person who just sounds very reasonable. And they're still trying to censor him. It's sad, man. Even at the conference, they're trying to censor him. They had to basically beg just to let him talk without being interrupted. But anyways, if you have any suggestions, comment down below. LFR Jojo, and I'll see you on the next one.